Hello, hola, guten tag, bonjour, konnichiwa, namaste. My name is Anish Guy and welcome to my channel. Today I will be giving my thoughts on why the One Night at Flumpty's franchise is the best of the FNAF fan games. Before I start, keep in mind that this is a niche opinion. Therefore, my point of view isn't the right one, but I'd love to see yours in the comments down below. In all honesty, the first One Night at Flumpty's was a parody. The mechanics aren't too different from the original FNAF and the developers made it that way. However, the fresh cast of characters and the fact that the game was one night really added an extra effect. Also, the jump scares are very well done because the characters don't look totally the same when they get near your office and everything about it was just carried to a high quality for fan games at the time. Although it isn't too terribly difficult, I have a lot of respect for this entry and maybe some nostalgia bias as well. Now, this is where the Siri go, uh, sorry, series goes wild. One Night at Flumpty's 2 is a culmination of what worked in the first game, but put its own spin on the genre. Some people criticize the light mechanic as similar to the mask in FNAF 2, but I don't see it. I like that there's a certain amount of exposure you have to avoid in order to survive. Not a one and done sort of scenario. Having the camera be limited was a really neat touch, and keeping track of all the characters was difficult sometimes. Speaking of the characters, they were beautifully crafted with some really scary moments throughout. The creepy aesthetic is so memorable that I could probably tell you everything in that room that you were stuck in. The addition to the owl was cool, and I still can't believe they did Piglet like that. This game was cranked up to 10, the long way to finale of the franchise went even crazier. One Night at Flumpty 3 came out less than a year ago, and it was a perfect conclusion to the One Night at Flumpty's trilogy. This game had two parts. The first part is fairly simple to get through. You just get used to the new mechanics of your camera and get your temperature up by the fireplace. You have the regular crew minus the star of the show Flumpty until later. And it of course is very well done, but not too terribly difficult when you figure out what you're doing. But then, once you think you've completed it, the fun really begins. The game trolls you into thinking it's all over, but then throws you into a different area and chaos ensues. The map is almost the same as the previous one, but it adds new doors, eventually new cameras, and combines all the mechanics from everyone in a Flumpty game as a celebration of the series. Also, you're literally going up against some... All sorts of versions of Flumpty as the final boss battle. I don't believe One Night of Flumpty's 3 is as scary as the other two entries, but the creepiness factor from some of the Flumpty characters is pretty terrifying. I adore these parody games and the excitement surrounding them at the time. I also like how they are only one night and don't waste your time with useless lore. Overall, I always look fondly on these games for doing their own thing, and being an inspiration to people of the horror game community. Anyways, that's all I have for you today, so if you enjoyed the video, please hit the subscribe button, if you haven't already, comment down below what you think of One Night of Flumpties. Check out the About section of my channel to see my Twitter, and above all else, have a good day, and keep it niche.